This is the sync clap. And now we are ready to go. Hello everybody, Jack Hesselwood here. This is Mr. World Q&A. Now I won the competition in August 2019 and from then until now, you guys have asked me a lot of questions. Now, some of those questions come up quite frequently. So today I'm gonna to address those. Let's see what you guys wanna know about me. So you guys asked me, what does it feel like to be Mr. World? Now, there is nothing like that feeling of actually winning and being a Mr. World. Um, and it probably even differs between each person. Um, my name gets called and um, I have never felt anything like that in my life. Like uh, I had, I was, I was being carried, I see the ceiling I, the noise was deafening. Like I've never heard such a loud um, applause and cheer and I, it was insane. It was insane. I've never felt anything like it. So it's, I guess it's just Mr. extreme World. elation. Would probably be the closest thing that I could uh, describe. What do you like most about travel? Um, I absolutely love to travel. I wish I could travel more. There are so many places I want to see. What I like most is everything about it, but I like to go somewhere I haven't been before. Now, the next question is quite a deep one, and it's one that I think deserves its own, it deserves a bit more time actually answering, but how do you manage your studies, music, and being Mr. World? To be honest, there are actually extra things to that that I also were trying to manage um, as well as competing in Mr. World. Um, but uh, listen, it requires, the short answer is that it requires sacrifice and a lot of hard work and dedication. You will have to give up things in order to fit these new projects in. So not necessarily just Mr. World, whatever you do in your life, if you want to achieve them, you need to prioritize and sacrifice some things. It's just how it goes. But it's more than worth it and it will, it will definitely pay off. I guarantee it. If years down the line or a few months down the line you come back to me and say look jack it wasn't worth it why did you suggest that it was a horrible idea then um that's not going to happen anyway the next question when is my birthday my birthday is on the 5th of june what is my favorite food Ooh, i am into at the moment charcuterie board i know that sounds incredibly pompous it's cured meats with um, pickled artichoke, pickled peppers, um, some um, little pick, like the pickled chilies you get. Um, I like those. And with some nice cheese. And um, I have that with like um, this bread, you get it, it's got garlic on it and it's just, oh, it's just so good. Uh, but if, I do, if I'm not in the mood for a charcuterie board, then probably, Indonesian or Malaysian food. Rundang, beef rundang curry. That, there you go, that, that's, that's my jam. So can I go live? Guys, you ask me so often, can I go live more on Instagram? And I am so sorry, I barely go live. I think I can remember going live maybe twice. So I will do that for you. I will go live more. My main objective, Oh, we're going quite deep. My main objective, now my main objective as Mr. World is probably the same thing as my, or one of the, my major kind of objectives as, as a human being. Um, and that is to share more. So if you, um, if you know something that should be shared, then share it. Because I know that sounds like, wow, Jack, how profound, but it really was an epiphany that I had actually at Mr. World because I've been playing drums for, I think, um, more than half my life, right? So I've been playing drums for a lot of years, like maybe 14, 15 years. And that was the first time I'd played in front of that many people. I think the biggest number of people I'd played in my drums to was maybe 10 people. So it was a, it really made me think, wow, I should really be sharing this. Um, what else? Your favorite quote. That is my favorite quote. Now guys, that was Mr. World Q&A. There'll be more videos, I promise you, where I'll be going into deep, more detail in 
you know, like the question, how do you manage your studies and things like that? I'll be talking about education. Um, I'll be talking about music. I'll be talking about my own learnings I've had in my life and things I really want to share. But today, that is the end of the Q&A. I've been Jack Hesselwood. Thank you very much for uh, your time watching this video. Please comment any kind of feedback you have. Also be posting some covers of me uh, actually singing. So it's gonna be my debut in singing and some drum covers as well. There might even be a little bit of Disney in there. We don't yet know. It's all a big, big secret. Um, and one last thing, if you haven't done so already, guys, I have about half an hour's worth of behind the scenes footage of the whole three weeks in Melilla competition. You guys were asking me, you know, what was it like in, uh, you know, day to day and this kind of thing. It's all on my um, Instagram page, at Jack Kesselwood. There'll be three story highlights showing day zero when I was catching the flight from London um, all the way to when I won the competition and I flew back to London. So it's got so much footage there. Um, and again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.